Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. What's up, Abba? So how are you? Wish you all doing great. So welcome to our lecture for tonight, Unit Ten. I'd like to open an account. So today we are going to open a bank account. So let's first get ready to listen and speak. Write the number of each item from one to seven next to the correct word or phrase from A to G. So we have uh, words or phrases from A to G, and we are going to connect these uh, words into the pictures from one to seven. Actually, and to be honest with you, I didn't know most of them, so I just get back to the end of the book and try to connect what these things are. Yes, so first a checkbook, this thing we all know it, a checkbook, a checkbook number two. A pan card, this is also the, most of us have a visa card. Yes, or this is a bank card number five. A bank book. Bank book is number three. If you know it, then it's good. If not, then uh, see it and uh, just say hello to it. Yeah. So, uh, bank book, we said it number three. Uh, bank statement, it is number six. This is the bank statement. Uh, paying in a slip is number one. An ATM machine, this thing we know it, number four. Some travelers checks. Uh, checks means a bill of exchange. Uh, it is a purely British word. And uh, for the American spell, it could be check. Yes, so it is number seven. Uh, a listening at a bank. So let's listen to listening nine, which is listen to ten office workers in London ask for services at the bank or at a bank. What does each person want to do? Complete the notes. We have uh, 10 persons, or 10 office workers actually in London, and they are trying to ask or they are asking for services at a bank, for bank services. So let's listen and complete the, the notes together, me and you. And of course, uh, if you would like to participate, please send the completions on the chat or model or on the private or model. Yes, so let's listen together and solve together. Coding 9. A. Hello, I'd like to open an account, please. So the first one uh, is solved, which is an account. Yes, B. B. My checkbook's run out. Can I order a new one, please? So he is, uh, his checkbooks run out, so he wants to order a new checkbook, right? Yes. C. Can I check my balance, please? So, check his balance, very good. D. I'd like to pay this check into my current account, please. So, she'd like to uh, pay a check into her current account not please e. can i send some money abroad from here so she wants to send some money abroad uh, means out of the country f i want to deposit this money into my savings account deposit means to put money in the bank so he wants uh, to his money being deposited into his saving accounts so he wants to save his money not to use them G can I pay my electricity bill here so he wants to pay his electricity bill here H I'd like to buy some travelers checks please so she wants to buy some travelers checks more اللي هنا رقم سبعة ما ممكن فوق yes uh, let's move to I could I see someone to arrange an overdraft please so she wants to arrange an overdraft so what is an overdraft uh, an overdraft is the maximum amount of credit 
extended to a customer. Yes. Trey, I need to order a new bank card. I've lost mine. So she wants to order a new bank card because she has lost his uh, hers. Yes. Uh, we have here a learning tip, so let's read it and think of it. Taking notes help to focus your attention, but don't try to write everything you hear. Just concentrate on the most important information. Note only the keywords and ignore anything else. Uh, when you will be in a, in such a situation while you are listening at a punk and uh, to the punk, uh, let's say, walker, and you need to uh, understand everything because it's about money, yeah? So you have to take uh, notes, but try to to make them as short as possible and it is preferable to record only the keywords so you won't uh, lose attention and you won't misunderstand the uh, bank walker yes now we will move to focus on money um, match each verb with an expression so we have some verbs here from A to E, and we have expressions from uh, also A to E, and we have to match uh, these verbs into the right expressions. So first, we borrow money from bank or from the bank. Yes, lend money to someone, of course. With a draw, with a draw, we I mean, we take money. Well, with a draw, what? money from your account very good deposit i will show you some other homo deposit a check into your account yes and finally arrange an overdraft so now we will complete complete with the missing prepositions uh from a to f we have uh, missed prepositions and we have to choose the right one so first save up to buy something so we are saying or we say save up pay in a check no? pay in a check pay in a check or cash no? yes take out a loan no loan uh, يعني, قرض, no? take out a loan uh, fill, fill, fill in an application form Fill out an application form. Which one is the best? Or I guess both of them are right. Fill out an application and fill in an application. Apply for. طبعا apply دائما تجوية for. Apply for a mortgage. Mortgage or mortgage. Uh, it means a loan uh, with, uh, let us say, with fees. I guess. Yes, invest in a company. Invest in a company. Yes. Now we will move to C uh, uh, speaking strategies. And before that, uh, let us uh, take this note. Did you know? So, in a British English, many people say quid rather than saying pound. Yeah. So the pound is like dinar. No? Can you lend me twenty quid? So this is an example. In American English, people say buck rather than dollar. Uh, and in Canada, a dollar is also called loony. Loony, طبعا هواي سامعيها. ما أعرف مرة عليه هواي بس البك. No, I haven't heard that before. So in American accent, we say, or American English, we say, not accent. American English, it is dialect. So in American English, we say buck instead of dollar. So if you get that, uh, you try to use this word. And or if you communicate with an American person. Yes, with American person. And loony, if it's Canadian, say loony. And quit if it's a British person. Yes, uh, let's get back to speaking strategy C, confirming, uh, confirming details. Speaking strategy, which is used here, is making sure that you are understanding or you are understand or you understood. 
Yes. So first, let us see the uh, phrases that Raymond uses. طبعا هنا أنا ما سمعنا إحنا تسجيل مع Raymond حذفنا listening be uh, because I أحس إنه بتفاصيل هو ما حاجة إلها. Yes. So let us just read the situation of Raymond uses to make sure he understood correctly. But my Raymond, who a Chinese person, and he, uh, he he's from Hong Kong. Madre da Hong Kong, he lives in China. Yani, I think it's different. Yes. Uh, who is walking in Canada, and he decides to open a saving account. Uh, and the bank clerk explained various savings accounts to him. Yes. So, bank clerk said, "Our e-saving accounts is in instant access too." Raymond, does that mean I can't get uh, the money immediately? Bank clerk, yes. And there is no penalty. Yes. Uh, so, what expression does Ryan um, uses? In order to make under to make sure he understands. طبعا هاي الاستراتيجية خلنا سابقا في unit بالكورس الأول أو بالفصل الأول. If you remember, yes. So what is the strategy that Raymond used in order to make sure that he understand what the bank clerk said to him? Does that mean I can get? Does that mean and blah blah blah. By blah blah blah, I mean he. I mean he complete his sentence or uh, what he thinks that he understands. Yes. Uh, so here are some some other expressions that you can use. So in other words, blah blah blah, the sentence that you think that you understand or you want to check that you understand it. Do you mean that blah blah blah? So you are saying that uh, blah 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 also, and so that means blah blah blah. So these just, these expressions are used in order to uh, make sure that you have understand, and by repeating the speakers, or let us say the first speaker, or how we call it in the pragmatics, we call it addressa. Uh, so the first speaker's speech. Uh, now moving to speak up three, you will hear five statements. Use the expressions and exercises one and two to replay to each statement, confirming the details. Yes, we will listen together and we will try to solve them together. Twelve. A. The interest rate is three percent, but if you have over twenty-five thousand pounds invested, then it goes up to three point five percent. So, uh, as the example in front of you, you hear that, and you would say, for example, so that means if I save over uh, 25 pounds, I'll get 3.5 percent interest. So, let's listen to the next one, and let let's decide or think of what you would say. This is a three-year bond, and the amount. This is a three-year bond. And the amount you invest is locked away for the whole term. So you would say, for example, uh, because this is a bond for three years, and the the amount he invests is locked for the whole for the whole term. So so that means that he would wouldn't or he can't get his money immediately. So what do you think? What would you say? Uh, you can say whatever you use one of the previous expressions, for example. So you are saying that I'm not able to access my money until the end of the term. Or for example, after the whole three years being passed. Yes, uh, let's listen to the next one. C. There are no charges on this account except for the administration fee of 295 euro. So imagine you here uh, that there are no charges on this account except for the administration fee of 295 euro. Yes, so what would you say? For me, I would say, uh, so in other words, no fee, no charge. Mm, it could be. Yes, move into the next. 
usual interest rates are around 4 to 5%, unless you have an online account which pays 9%. Try to salvage. Yes, please, move into the next. E. This is a fixed interest account. Yes, and this one too. So try to solve these two, uh, please. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for your attending. If you have any comment, question, uh, something you want to say, so please let me know. Thanks, and see you next lectures.